Kevin Leroy, thanks very much for talking to Facts TV. Uh, Kevin, um, you've joined Halifax, obviously, from Lee. Um, just talk to me a little bit about the move and uh, how it all came about. Uh, it was quite unexpected, obviously. Um, after the Lee situation, what happened last year with all the night, little crisis, um, I had to find an, an exit door, really, and um, around the October time, oh, yeah, October time, uh, which get in touch with my agent and uh, submit uh, an interest for me and uh, soon as I heard about it I was really really interested because um, I've been playing against Halifax for a few years now and uh, always liked the, the way they play, the way they defend and uh, the team as well so I was really interested. What was it about Halifax that, that made you decide to come here rather than, rather than go elsewhere? Uh, I think like Halifax has been really um, consistent for the last four years now. Uh, I think they made the last three years uh, the top four and, yeah. uh, and the playoffs. So that means is a is a strong team who go in the right direction and keep improving. Uh, so that's been the reason as well. I knew the standard wouldn't drop even if it's a part-time team. The standard will stay high. The team wants to 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 be the best as possible and and, and win trophies. And uh, which I'm not disappointed because as soon as I came here. Uh, could feel that everyone want to be the best team, uh, not just be like a part-time team. So that fit well with uh, what we wanted, and also I quite like as a player, I quite like to defend. And uh, by playing against Halifax, I know is tough and aggressive team in defense, and I quite I quite like that. So um, that would have been the element, you know, like really convinced me. Mm. I was just going to come on to that. What what was playing against Halifax like as a as an opposition player? But you mentioned quite like quite like that uh, defensive side of the game. Yeah, even like when I first played against Halifax, it was 10 years ago when I first started with Toulouse. And I, as a young lad, um, playing against Halifax, I had like what, already one of the best team in the championship. And uh, it always has been like something, um, a team has been really like physical. Uh, I do remember one game I played here and uh, and I've been proper, proper work but, but, but a prop were there and that stay in, in my mind and, and, and after a year back when I played with Bradford against Halifax only it's still there, the team likes to defend and really aggressive and and also like a team like who work for each other. Mm. Um, speaking to other players who have obviously played against Halifax and gone on to join them, they always mention about uh, Scott Morell and his um, uh, shouting on the field, is that something that you, you've heard over the years? Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can confirm. Yeah, yeah. I think um, just remember la- last year when we came with Lee uh, here, and uh, it was on my side, and just all the game it was just like into my my ear, and all the play on the, on my side, and even in scrum like. But when you open and it, it's if you let him go into your head, he can like divide you for your game. Mm. But I mean, when he's with you, I think these kind of things you just like, yeah, keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you settled in well to the group? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, uh, honestly, the everyone are really welcoming. I was really stressed to come um, before uh, because this is like it's a tight group. We're like, playing with each other for several years now. Mm-hmm. now. So I was quite stressed, but everyone has been really welcoming with me, and uh, there's no there's no group. It's just one team, um, and I really really like that. Mm. Plenty of competition in that forward pack this year. Loads of names, which I, I won't go into, but plenty of names fighting for that spot at, at the forwards. You must be pretty uh, looking forward to that competition. Oh yeah, like and to be to be honest, it's good to have concurrence into into the team. Uh, like you say, there's some big names, and uh, I'll take about my position back row. You've got Shane, you've got Simon, uh, you've got Ed. Uh, then you've got some young young player who can play like uh, Sion. Uh, were really good, so that will keep me on my toes, and uh, always want to, I always like to work hard, and I will work extra hard, like uh, get a spot into the team, and uh, if I get a spot into the team, just keep my spot. Mm. What can Halifax fans expect from from your game? What, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, you mentioned you mentioned that defensive side yeah, of the game. It's a tough that, question that, to respond, but I, I, I think I'm. Mm, I, I like to, I work hard. I always give hundred percent, and um, I, I, I like to defend. Uh, I, I quite try to be as much aggressive as I can, and have an impact for the team in defense. Do lots of effort, 
um, try to protect my half back on the side as well. Then um, in attack, I think I've got some good uh, good, good lines. Um, then that's it. I just <laughs> I, I just I try to improve again uh, as a player and uh, give my best uh, this year for Halifax. Mm. We were talking a bit about it sort of off recording, but obviously on camera. How have you found um, that obviously transition from being a full time to a part time player? Is that <coughs> so obviously it's fairly new to you at the moment? But how, how have you found that? Um, I must tell me, it is no an easy transition. Um, I've been full time for the last past ten years, mm. uh, so you you can't like get, get get this habit like to be full time like we're training in a, in the morning and coming back in mid afternoon at home. So I must have been is still will be like I need to get used to that mm. uh, training at night. Uh, obviously, I'm I'm studying as well on, on the side, so it gives me more time to uh, to study during the day and to go more at uni because when I was full time, it was I couldn't attend to every lecture and seminars at uni, so mm. it give me more time. Um, also, now I've got an opportunity to like do some uh, work experience at at the clubs, so that that will fill a little bit more my my days and and yeah, just the only thing is I come in because I travel a little bit, a little bit so. Going back home will be late, but it's I just like need like a few weeks to like get the habit and just get used to it. Mm. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, Kerry. Uh, right. Pre season, pre season. How have you found pre season? Obviously, you played against uh, Bradford. Uh, you played against Hunts- you played against yeah, Hunts- as well. Yeah. Well. Um, how have you found those experiences? Good. Um, against Ali- um, Bradford, sorry, it was really good. Like, it was my first game, so I was really really motivated to play Bradford and also like his a, a, a rival. Um, I think there's, yeah, we lost, but I think down in the middle we've been pretty strong. Mm. Um, just like uh, we're poor uh, with the ball in our hands, we didn't get like, any repeat set or going into an arm wrestle. So uh, after we just paid it, we, we paid the price afterwards, so we just like, we would improve. After Unsled, they were the majority of the players were from the academy, and I was really, to be honest, really surprised with the the level on, of, of some some kids in in that game, and then I was like, I uh, must work harder to mm. like keep my sport, or else they will come and take over. So I think it, it it was good for them to get some some game time and see where they are, and now we move to first on Sunday, and I just hope we'll just like go into. Um, the next level and to be ready for the start of the season. Mm. Obviously, the ambition I'm presuming from from the team is is to make that top five. It's going to be pretty tough considering the, the competition around the team this year. Yeah, it would be really tough, but no impossible. Uh, I think Alif has shown the last uh, few years that they were the best part time team. But now, can we say we don't want to be seen as a part time team? We just want to be seen as the best team. So yeah, the top five is uh, is an objective definitely. Uh, will be tough competition. I think uh, Toulouse, with Ness, Toronto, we will be there as well. Mm. Uh, but we will be there as well definitely. Kevin, thanks for your time. No much, worries, thank you much very appreciated, much. and uh, best of luck with your time at Halifax. Thank you.